Good day everyone! In this video, we will talk about the proof of the Pythagorean Theorem. So, Pythagorean Theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So, we can use only this theorem in a right triangle. So, right triangle should have 90 degrees or right angle. Opposite this right angle is the longest side of the right triangle, which what we call the hypotenuse. Adjacent to this right angle are the legs of the right triangle. So, you have the legs and the hypotenuse. So, Pythagorean theorem says that the sum of the squares of these legs are equal to the square of the hypotenuse. And we are going to prove that this theorem is true. So, let's start. Let's begin with this right triangle. So this right triangle has 90 degrees. This is the right angle. So let us let this angle be alpha. And this one, this angle, be beta. So we know that the sum of the measures of the triangles or the sum of the interior angles of the triangles are equal to 180 degrees. So we can say that alpha plus beta plus 90 degrees equals 180 degrees. So, we have alpha, beta, and 90 degrees equals 180 degrees. So, let us subtract 90 degrees both sides. So, this becomes zero. So, we will have alpha plus beta equals 90 degrees. So, alpha plus beta equals 90 degrees, or we can simply say that these angles, alpha and beta, are complementary angles. So, whenever you add them, that is always equal to 90 degrees. So, take note of that. Let's proceed. Let us make a copy or copies of this right triangle. Three copies of that. So, let us put this side. This one here. This one here. I hope this would align. There you go. So earlier, we said that alpha and beta are equal to 90 degrees. So, looking into this, we have a straight line, right? Which forms 180 degrees. So, we have alpha and beta, which are equal to 90 degrees. So, we can say that this angle is right angle, or 90 degrees, right? Also, this one, we have alpha, beta, and 90. So, equal 180 degrees. This one also, and this one. Now, if I'm going to ask you what are the shapes that we have formed in this illustration, you might probably say that we have formed two squares. So the one inside, the smaller square, and the bigger square. So we should prove first that they really are squares. So what are the properties of square? First one, it should be a quadrilateral. Four sides. So we have four sides here. Second one, it should have four right angles. So, right angle, right angle, right angle, right angle. So, I have four for the larger square. This one, four right angles. And then last one, the four sides should be congruent. So, we don't know yet the sides or the measures of the sides here. So, we should measure this one. What is the measure of this side? So, Earlier, we named this side as A and this one is B. So we can say that this side is A plus B. And that goes the same with all of the sides here. A plus B, A plus B, A plus B. So therefore, this is a square, the larger one. How about the second one, the smaller square? We have C, 
C, C, and C here. Okay? So therefore, this is a square. Now, let us find out what is this, the area of the bigger square. First, what is the area of square? The formula that is side squared or S squared. So what is our side? That is A plus B. So meaning the area of the bigger square S quantity A plus B squared. So that's the side A plus B squared. Next, so there is actually another way for us to solve or to find the area of the bigger square. And that is to look for the area of these shapes. So area of the four right angles, I mean four right triangles. And the area of this is smaller square. So what is the area? Area of the right triangles. So we know that the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So we have here A and B. So we can say that each right triangle here, the area of them is one half. A times B. So how many right triangles do we have? We have 4. So you have to multiply this area by 4. So I've got all the right triangle. Next, we have the smaller square. What is the area of the smaller square? change this square so we know that each side of this smaller square is C so we can say that the area of this smaller square is C squared so if we add this and this we will get this and we can form an equation out of that so let's just erase it for a while So the area of the bigger square is a plus quantity a plus b squared equals the four right um, triangles. So four times one half a times b plus the area of the smaller square, which is c squared. So we can expand this a quantity a plus b squared. So a plus b. times the quantity a plus b. So if you are going to use spoil method here or square up binomial, you'll get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Let's simplify this. So we have 4 times 1 half ab that becomes 2ab plus c squared. So take a look of the equation. So as you can see here, we have 2 to AB. And we can cancel them. So we are left with A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we're done. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video.